Welcome back to the garage. A little di different, uh, different format here today. A little question and answer time. Um, you guys have been asking some good questions and I know sometimes I don't really do follow up on videos when you ask good questions. So I thought I'd do some, a little bit of follow up. Uh, if you like this format of doing Q and A, let me know, shoot it in the comments below. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll pick your comment, might pick your comment later to answer it. Um, if I answer your question though, shoot me an email at nashvilleearlybronco at gmail.com. That's my email. Um, and uh, I'll send you a little sticker pack or, or, or comment um, and uh, let me know how I can get in touch with you. Don't leave your address in the comments because that's shady. Shady things will happen if you do that. All right, um, I'm gonna butcher everyone's name, so stay tuned. And hey, it's kind of cool, cold in the garage today. Got the uh, Nash hoodie, NashvilleEarlyBronco.com. Raul Granillo uh, asked me, or told me, <laughs> you placed leaf spring bolt in backwards. If you want to place side nerf bars, it will be heck to remove that bolt and flip over to bolt on nerf bars. So Raul, uh, you are correct. Um, if you noticed in my last video on the suspension, um, I put one of the leaf spring bolts in backwards. So this is the bolt in question. This is backwards. So basically the head should be on this side and the bolt sticking out over here. Um, very similar to this one where the bolt head is the, here sticking out and then you put your thing on. Now, a lot of people don't like this because you've got threads sticking out. It doesn't look right, but you will have to, uh, you kind of have to do it because you cannot, um, I mean, I guess you could put the bolt on this way, but you get so close to this, which if I can angle it right, you will get so close to binding up on this part of your frame if, you know, if you're, uh, suspension really flexes. So that's why the bolt needs to go on this way. And over here, the reason is because if you need to access, uh, or if you're putting anything up in under here, like I know the Tom's nerf bars, um, uh, will hit, hit this bolt. So, uh, that's what, that's what we're talking about. So I need to swap these bolts around and put them the other way. So thank you, Raul. Um, if you uh, are watching this and you told me that, some stickers coming your way. Mark Wooten, Wooten, Wu-Tang Clan. Mark said, what's the pulley size for both the water pump and the crankshaft dampener pulley? When I did the upgrade, for my steering, um, I got the kit from Tom's and it comes with a crank pulley and a water pump pulley. Um, and so let me get those measurements. All right, I haven't even opened these. They are six inches on the outer diameter. It might be five inches to the pulley. Um, this is a lot of help. Good, a lot of help, John. Thank you for this. Um, but they are stock for the 302. So it's the same. Oh, I can't buy a new one now. It's the same, uh, like when you hold the pulleys up to each other, they're the same on the stock because I have my 302 sitting right there on the floor. Um, so the pulleys are the same size. So it's not like it's you're changing sizes. So it's made for um, your stock 302. Uh, 73 strop, strope, strop. 73 strop says, <laughs> how much time do you spend stretching out so you can sit on the floor? Um, in my restoration video, 
I was I was sitting on the floor a while working on the brakes and I'm about to or working on the steering. I'm about to do it again, working on the brakes. Yeah, you feel it the next day. I'm 40, uh, and so my body doesn't work like my 20-year-old body used to. So when I sit on the floor for a long time, I can't get up. Um, David Brady says, these aren't really questions anymore. I had two questions, and the rest of this is just funny to me. David Brady says, are you crazy? My wife will see how much I spent. Um, on my restoration videos, I'm putting the uh, total money spent at the end of the videos. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, and uh, yeah, my wife will see. So the trick is I need to give you guys enough information so that it's accurate, but not all of the information. Like today, uh, I went and bought $90 in bolts <laughs> like just going to tractor supply and like i think i need some of these i think i need some of these i think you know like and just buying bolts um so there's stuff like that that um actually i'll probably include that in the video in the next video um but then there's tools that i don't include as much of what i spent and i will say my favorite tool right now my favorite tool, it, it was a total accident. This thing was like in the, um, in one of the shots, like just in the lower corner, like I was product placement. Milwaukee does not sponsor these videos, but this is definitely my favorite tool. $300 well worth spent. Um, I'll put a Amazon affiliate link in there. If you want to buy it, I get like 13 cents. <laughs> so It'll help buy some more bolts. Um, John Tasticful gave a super thanks. I just wanted to say thank you for that. Um, super thanks means he put a little money behind his comment. That is going towards more Bronco parts, my friend. Alpine Garage, I'm gonna end with this one because they are hilarious. Alpine Garage, if you guys don't know, Alpine used to be, what, Mile 3 Garage. They bought um, Matt's Garage Early Bronco. And he said, actually, initially I saw the mustache. Blushing, I hit the cancel button on the video thinking I had clicked on something prohibited. Looking around and noticed nobody was watching, I re-clicked on the content and realized it was a Bronco restoration. Nice video, John. Yes, there's something growing on my upper lip. I think it's hideous and hilarious. Uh, I'm also growing my hair out, which is equally as hideous. I have curly hair and um, I look like Weird Al, the, the Weird Al Yankovic doc documentary, Weird Al. Um, it's hideous and beautiful all at the same time. And I do it just because I think it's funny my wife does not laugh as much as I do when I stand in front of the mirror. Um, but yeah, okay, so that was it. Question and answer. Um, some, I'm, you know, we're doing this on the podcast as well, some Q&A stuff. So seriously, if you have any questions, random stuff, funny stuff, um, leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it. If I answered your question today or read your comment, shoot me an email throw you some stickers, hoodies. I got this one and the Nashville Bronco one, the gray one, um, that looks like this shirt. It looks like this, but it's a hoodie. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I uh, really appreciate you guys and um, having fun building this thing. Um, oh, you know what was a great comment? Oh wait, it was on Instagram. Hold on, sorry. Last one. Um, but I'm gonna screenshot this and I'll post it up. Um, so March 25th of 20, no, June 17th of 2021, Christian Schultz, Schultz asked me, how long do you expect to take restoring your Bronco? In which I said, probably close to a year. And he said, that's what I told myself as well. And I said, ha ha. <laughs> and then 
on Saturday after I posted the most recent restoration video. What are we? A year and a couple months later, he said, "Remember when you told yourself you would do it in a year?" <laughs> oh, Christian, thank you. Uh, that's hilarious and so true. I thought it would take me a year, but I would love to spend some time working on the Bronco uh, coming up this Christmas. So hopefully, videos will be coming sooner, and uh, and I'll be working hard next up on the Bronco. I'm going to be putting the brakes in, brake lines, fuel tank. I got the 23-gallon Tom's tank, uh, fuel lines. And I'm actually going to put the old engine in place to get all the fitment right. Um, I'm not going to go with the old engine. I'm going to do uh, Donnie, who's doing the podcast with me. He's going to start building engines. Um, so I'm going to do one of his engines. Uh, 4R70W and uh, all that good stuff. So looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Comment below. See you next time.